so so far we had completed this app like you know ui stuff this is the last conclusion lecture so where we'll discuss the doubt and all the things you know wrap up uh, wrapping up this course so when we click on any product it, it will open to the product details page and when we click on right left it will into the next product as well and this is looking awesome okay and we had to also work on this add to cart uh, button as well okay now before that let me explain you all the code so you guys are able to understand it and it become easy and for to understand so for the packages we are using the Re reactive navigation along with the stack navigation we are also using linear gradient and reactive uh, vectors icon for the icons okay and uh, after that inside the source uh, uh, we are having app.jsx where i set up the uh, stack navigation along we are having a two screen the first screen is, screen is called as a home screen and the product details screen nothing else okay inside this home screen we had you know you we are using just uh, data so where we are just rendering the smartwatch data and if we click on headphones so if we are just updating that data with that uh, different category data okay so like currently we are just uh, handling the two sticker is category like smartwatch and headphone so if you want to handle more category you can handle it uh, like that as well but make sure you also have to add the data okay so we are having a const data data and selected category all these things we are having a selected category state to manage this highlight stuff okay now after that we are having after this view we are just having a one view one flat list and inside this flat list we are rendering the whole items okay the reason being is that we are uh, we are just having one flat list and rendering the all items because we want that all the items should be scrollable okay so inside this list header component we are having a fragment and inside this fragment we are having a text and we are having a style view as a main input container okay and inside that as you can see that uh, we are having style dot main input container style dot input wrapper images and text input all the kind of stuff so this is all about you know uh, this header stuff and we are having a category container as well so you can see that category container this is a category container after that we are having a, a category section where we are having a selected category handle update category and after that we are having a data which is uh, we use for to render the status and rendering the item product card all right so so far this is the all about the home screen and there is some component associated with this home screen the first component like category so we had created this uh, category stuff uh, with the flat list so which you can go through the code simple and straightforward and the, the data the state is managing on the top of the parent component all right and after that we have also work on this product card this is the product card and whenever we click on any product so we are passing the day we have to make it into the product detail screen along with that we are also passing the data as well okay and we had also work on this head okay yeah that's all now after that we work on work on product details screen and here we had created this product carousel and inside this product carousel as you can see that we are having a flat list and we had made this custom uh, using the flat list nothing anything new okay now this is looking awesome and cool all right and after that uh, we have designed this title wrapper button and so on so if you guys having uh, any doubt any question just let me know and i will also drop you this figma link so you can check it out so yeah that's all this course we will meet in the next course and please let me know what kind of course you guys want all right Thanks, bye, have a great day.